Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the float switch in your dishwasher, you will need to fully uninstall the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the two mounting screws, securing the lower access panel. Set the panel aside. Use channel lock pliers to loosen the elbow fitting, securing the water supply line to the inlet valve. Fully unthread the elbow fitting. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and unthread the two screws securing the dishwasher mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Rotate the front legs clockwise to lower the front. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, rotate the rear leg adjusting rod counterclockwise to lower the rear of the dishwasher. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Lift up the left side insulation. Detach the vent hose from the blower housing and vent. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the air duct to the blower housing. Move the bottom of the air duct out of the way, and you can lift the blower housing and pull forward to detach. Disconnect the wire connector to fully remove. You can now reach in and pull the float switch forward to detach it from the bottom panel. Use needle nose pliers to disconnect the wire connector and you can fully remove the old float switch. Install the new float switch by first connecting the wire connector. Now align the float switch tab with the slot in the bottom panel and snap the assembly into place. Reinstall the blower assembly by reconnecting the wire connector, then secure the connector in the retaining clip. Align the tab on the blower housing with the channel in the bottom panel, then push down. Confirm the air duct is fully positioned, then rethread the screws to secure the lower portion of the duct to the blower housing. Reinstall the vent hose. Reposition the insulation. Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall.
then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Extend the front leveling legs if necessary. Rotate the adjusting rod clockwise to extend the rear leg. Rethread the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Thread the water supply line elbow fitting onto the inlet valve port and tighten. Realign the lower access panel and rethread the screws to secure. Turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use.